right, so we've got this sweet wrecker ready to go on its first recovery. So we'd like to thank today's sponsor, Onyx Off-Road, for sponsoring today's video. Today's the last day that you can download the app and get your name on my truck. More importantly, it's the last day for you to download the app so I can win my Bronco. The most important thing of all, download it under my name so I can have a day off, paid day off. The Bronco's more important. Paid day off is better. All right, the most important thing is just to download it under my name. More on that later. More on, more, more, <laughs> <laughs> more about that later. Today, old wrecker poo. Yeah, should be pretty exciting, but should be pretty easy because this, this truck's up for the challenge. We're gonna head up the canyon, gonna be utilizing our offline maps to find a trailer. A trailer or a camper, we're not really sure. Not with wheels and a tongue. Yeah, hey, all we know is it's an, it's an opportunity to take the wrecker up the mountains. I wanna get the truck pulled out and get everything ready so that we, we can just head out. Wait, 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 wait. We need to put some automatic transmission fluid in there. It was low. The first thing we gotta do is we gotta um, jump start it. It's dead. That's not good. We're dead in the water, folks. So we're gonna take the jumper with us so that we don't get stranded. Oh, and oh, you're taking the trekker. Yeah. We'll yeah. take that too. And we got jumper, you got your jumper cables. Start her up, Captain. Don't forget to do this, Captain. Oh, we need transmission fluid. Yeah. I forgot. So we're gonna get the transmission fluid filled up, get this thing started, then we can get on our way. Clunkity clunk is the transmission. Not even on the fill line. Hillary's gonna drive it a little bit forward and a little bit back so we can get some fluid all moving. And then I'll check it again. Pin the dot. I think we're good there. Saddle up, partner. like that we're off to the races so we got hillbilly and steve and the trekker they're coming for moral support just in case the old wrecker doesn't make it but we're not going too far we're going like 5.5 miles up ephraim canyon um all we have is a drop pin from our friends over at the forest service there's an abandoned trailer or something that they want removed so basically our first recovery is just a we're lending a helping hand with our new wrecker, and we want to be able to test it out, take it up the canyon, see what it'll do. So, what we're gonna do, but we're gonna stop at Maverick, get all gassed up, grab a couple snacks, some waters, and head up the road. I got the boss with me in the truck, and she's just ex she is just as excited to be in here as I am. Yep. That was a really exciting. Yep. <laughs> yep. Do we need gas? I don't know if we need gas or not, but we're going to fill up the old trekker. Just try to pull the kick one way a little bit. I'll let you do it. I'll let Hillbilly fill his own gas. Hey, Robbie. Yeah. Why not choose this one? It's long enough to reach across there. Too late. See, the nice thing, nice thing about my Ford, well, I guess that's not a Ford, that's a Toyota. Like I was going to say, my Ford, I don't have to hold the nozzle. It does it itself. Mine, I don't have to hold either. It's true. Oh, All right, we'll get this fueled up. This will be the first time this new tank has a full tank of gas since installation. So we'll be able to see if the fuel gauge is working. It's a little shakedown. Oh, look, there's a wasp right there that needs to... See, that is a wasp. It's not a honeybee. Not a honeybee. Definitely not a honeybee. Got all fueled up. Um, Robbie had to run to his house for I think the cooler, I'm not sure what. That's what I'm thinking. So he said he'll meet us at the mouth of the canyon. So that's where we'll meet him. We made it to where we need to meet Robbie. All right, so we found Hillbilly in the Trekker. We are up in Ephraim Canyon in beautiful Sampy County. So we called it, I don't even know what this is called, but it's a little parking lot kind of at the mouth of the canyon. So we're doing. We're gonna get a game plan with Hillbilly and he's got Steve with him. We'll use our offline maps to find where we're going and go up and get this figured out. 
looking at our maps, this is where we're going. That little information, that little thingy right there. Where are we? We're right here. So we've got a bunch of zigzaggy wiki woggies and right here, we've got a little turnoff on Willow Creek Road. I know exactly where Willow Creek Road is. Okay, cool. Well, if we get lost, we've got our map. All right, so we just turned off of the main road onto Willow Creek Road. They're logging this canyon right now, so there might be some logging trucks, who knows. But looking at the map, we're probably about three miles down this road. Looks like we got some people recreating. So again, we're using our Onyx offline maps to get us to this recovery safely. In the off chance that we got lost, our offline maps will allow us to safely be able to find our way back to town. Luckily, we're not too far up the canyon and this isn't too crazy of a day. But I do want to talk to you guys and remind you that today is the last day that you can help us with our friendly little competition that we've had going for the last month with me, Hillbilly and Denbury. For you, those of you that don't know what it is, we've got a competition of who can get the most downloads of the Onyx Maps app and the winner is gonna get a day off. That's what Hillbilly will win. I will win a day off if I win. And the boss, Damry, he'll get a 72 Ford Bronco if she wins. So it's a pretty obvious choice. Make sure when you hit that link in the description or in the pinned comment, make sure you click on Damry's because we really wanna get her a Bronco. And with your guys' help, we can do that. So another cool thing that we've got going on is we're gonna be putting a wrap on our truck. And so for everybody that downloads the Onyx Maps app, again, today's your last day, but for the past three months, we're gonna be putting your name on our truck. So if you download the app, you're gonna get your name on the truck. If you upgrade your membership to premium, you're gonna get a little bit bigger font size on our truck. Now, if you get the elite membership, that's gonna be the biggest font size on our truck, on our wrap for the next year. Now the cool thing about the Elite membership is you can upfit your vehicle, you can get wheels from Method, you can get a worn winch, you can get a Dometic fridge, you can get a bunch of really cool stuff. BDS lift kits, box shocks, all sorts of stuff. And if you use your Elite membership, you're gonna be saving at least 10% off of those purchases. So don't wait, make sure you click that link in the description. If you've been hesitant at all to get this app, today is the day. Because after today, we're not adding any more people to our wrap. So make sure you click that link in the description, get yourself on the wrap for the next year, and go recreate safely. We're pretty dang close. But that mark right there is where we're headed. I don't know how far up the canyon, this, uh, I'm not sure what it is exactly, because Robbie has said the trailer, we have to go recover a trailer. He said we have to go recover a camper. So I have no idea what it is. And hopefully we pull it out fast because here in like two or three hours there's a circus in manti that i'm taking my kids to i believe robbie's taking his kids to it too so i'm pretty sure we're gonna take it down for you guys to do that i hope so i spot it we are close and it's in horrible shape hopefully all the tires are aired up because uh, we didn't think about bringing any kind of spares or anything We always get the crappy ones. How do we always get put in these situations? Because we don't gonna, tell them no. You don't make sure there's no Sasquatters yeah. in there? Hey! <laughs> Hillary, he freaking took off running! Stop! <laughs> 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 right. Doesn't look like Sasquatch is inside of this one. Sasquatters. Yeah, Sasquatters. That is from 622. All right, so we're gonna assess this. Basically, what the plan is, is to just hook up to it and have Hillbilly follow us down the mountain and hope that everything doesn't fall off by the time we make it to the bottom. But we brought the wrecker because the wrecker hasn't been on a recovery yet. So you need to go get stuck. Then you need to call us. So we don't have to go clean up the mountain and get dilapidated trailers. But anyway, the tongue's sitting on the ground. So we're gonna use the boom we're gonna lift it up, get it hooked onto the wheel lift, and 
Should be pretty straightforward. Hopefully we'll get it right down the canyon. First things first though. You want, what do you want out of it? Nothing. But oh, we got to put in it. What? what? Oh, everything. Yeah, oh, why it's parked right here. Yeah. We'll move it. Make sure we got everything. Get this cleaned up. And then very carefully head down the mountain. Found me some treasure. You can have it for free. Ugh. Well, no, that's got metal. That might hold together. So you... Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. Don't knock too hard on that Yeah, it'll, wood. it'll come off. So we've got a lot of the loose trash picked up. I'm going to back up. We're going to boom this thing onto the wheel lift. So really why the trekker came is because it's going to follow behind and pick up everything that falls out of here. And put it where? I don't know. The trekker's not a dumpster. Back in there. <laughs> so y'all make Steve get out. Pick it up and then run and chase you guys. Oh no, they Throw have to stop. I'm too old to run and chase. Okay. Are you gonna just winch it to it or uh, no, boom I'm gonna, out? I'm gonna boom it out, grab it, and then pull it to it. Once this, once we get a control cable and idle this up, it'll be much quicker. There you go. I just noticed somebody tried to level this out at some point. They got themselves a little jack. I'd be surprised if Hillbilly doesn't want that thing. Swing it up. Solid metal bed. Hey, it did exactly what I needed it to. Now watch this. Hit the ball on the right side. Press that. Find out in a second. So that did. That was exactly what we intended for. So. Okay. I'm putting the two and five inch ball up. Two and five eight? Or two and five sixteenths, sorry. We had a small one in, too big. Or too small. Like now nah, we should be good. Alright. First time we've ever got to use director bed. Successful! Alright, so what we need to do now, we need to hook those chains up, but we also need to get this thing squared up. Boom it out. Okay, stop. Or wait, no, boom back in, sorry. Now boom out. Wow. So this is the, this is what I was telling you guys about yesterday. Do we need that bumper? Yeah, that'll stay off the ground. All right, those are some hot chains. So we've got that all leveled up. Um, yeah, use that to kind of be a safety. All right, we are locked, loaded, and ready to see if this falls apart on the way down. What do you guys think? It's going to. It's going to lose something. Well, hey, look. Hopefully it doesn't hit anything. Hopefully nothing hits the trekker. Yeah, look at that. The chain hooks are perfect. Hey, there's a fuse box you can have. I don't need it. <laughs> um, do you think we can just take it straight to the dump? Do you think they take full trailers like this? Yes. Maybe we should just head straight down to Mayfield. Mayfield? Yeah, everyone's open to it. Can we take it there? I'm sure we probably could. A... Why don't we, once we get into town, why don't you guys head there? Fly out of there. All right. It's go time. Well, that was a very easy, successful recovery. Now let's just hope it stays easy and successful and we don't lose nothing on the way down.
So far, so good. Well, we made the pavement, so it should be pretty smooth selling from there. It's not a rough, bumpy road like we was on. It's a smooth road. We haven't lost anything yet, so. Has anything flown out? Nothing. Just wanted to stop and see if anything fell out. Nope. Nothing. Oh, you just got the clock. Up and down. Up and down. Oh, that didn't fall out. No. All right. Well, we're making it, so that's good. What I'm gonna do, so we're gonna take this straight to the landfill. So I'm gonna have Hillbilly and Steve haul butt down, not haul butt, go the speed limit, of course, legally. And then they're gonna run out to the landfill and make sure that we can take this straight there. And we're gonna have them escort us out of town to the landfill. Um, what's the speed limit when it's not marked? 25,000 miles an hour. No. Okay. I don't think this will do 25,000. All right, we'll meet you guys by the shop. We'll take the back roads and head there. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. All right, Hillbilly and Steve are headed down. Like I said, we'll, we'll just keep on trucking. Look at this thing, it's just falling apart. Some of you probably realize that this isn't that cool, and it's not, but we're super excited that we're in a position to where we can actually help and go up and get stuff like this off of the mountain for the Forest Service. So we're okay doing it. And it's a nice day to get out. Well, we lost a little bit of insulation, but I couldn't even stop because it blew off the road. That's not bad. We only lose a tiny bit of stuff. At least the whole site's not falling off. All right, so it is still in sort of one piece. Didn't lose much. The front hasn't fallen apart yet, but we're going to be taking this straight to the landfill. I don't want to park it anywhere. I don't want it to fall apart anywhere. So I sent Stephen Hillbilly out to the landfill to see if they're still open and see if we can just take this out there. So they'll be back in a minute. We'll talk to them and get a game plan on what to do to get rid of this thing. And we will have to pay for the two tires of the left. That's all. They'll take the trailer. You heard it first, folks. They'll take the trailer, but we have to pay for the two tires on it. Tire disposal. Serious? Yeah. They know it's a that's camper. What, that's what Cookie said. Cookie works out there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah oh, cool. been out there for quite a while. Awesome. Well, we're going to haul it out tomorrow. So, it is tomorrow. All right, so it is the next day. So, should be pretty quick. All we got to do is haul that dilapidated pile of can, doggy can crap. And, and metal. And... and hope it doesn't blow apart on the way to the dump. So, I'm going to have Hillbilly and Steve follow me. Let's go see if this thing will blow apart on the road. I really hope nothing falls out because I don't want to pick anything up. Yeah, it's your day to do that. <laughs> we made it to the landfill without losing one piece. Thank goodness. So we just figured out our local landfill will take these if they're off the axles and we aren't breaking this thing apart so we found another dump that's going to take it we gotta go around the block we gotta go get back on the highway head down basically right behind basic us where yeah. we're going basically directly behind the landfill is a place to dump trailers so we'll head over there we're about to lose a cushion out of it it's holding on for dear life but for how long i don't know all right, so we made it to Chester. We didn't even lose a mattress, barely lost the entire side, front window's out of it, but that doesn't matter. We made it in one piece. And we're ready to drop it at an undisclosed location for an undisclosed amount, which is free. Yeah, just destroy this thing. Take what you can use out of it and destroy the rest. <laughs> That's what it was. Whoops. Whoopsies. So we didn't want to be jerks. The block fell, so we lifted it back up. Steve's going to go grab a rim. So the guy that we gave this to, he's going to be able to move it wherever he needs. All right, so we're going to chalk that up as our first successful recovery with the wrecker. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Truck did awesome, no breakdowns. So as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.